gentlemen and beautiful ladies. Guys, I'm going to bake a bunch of chicken thighs today, but one of the dishes, I'm going to use one or maybe two of those thighs. I'm going to remove the skin, I'm going to dice up that meat, and we're going to make chicken broccoli. Yes, on the stir fry. The rest I'm just going to bake in the oven because it's 40 degrees out and I'm freezing my butt off here in Texas. That's just the way it is. So get ready. This easy, simple recipe, just like all the others. It's quick, easy, fast, and if you're not doing it, well, have fun at McDonald's. Here's the ingredients we got. Yes, we do. We have chicken thighs. These are thawed out. Just finished thawing out. And they will be covered with Black and Bay. Yes. TheHogZone.com. Except for the two that I'm using for my stir-fry chicken broccoli. What it is, took a couple of heads of broccoli. I cut them up. I really enjoy the stems, so cut the stems kind of fancy. Get you a couple of carrots, cut those up kind of fancy, you know, any way you want. It's just more interesting if you make a weird cut, see, like on your broccoli. I got ginger. If you put ginger in it, it's going to be international. Yes, most people don't put ginger in stuff, but this stuff here rocks. And it's easy to grow, believe it or not. I got a piece of garlic. Yes, I need garlic. It's usually not a traditional recipe. You will not find. Yes, folks, you will not find this at the restaurant because they're going to cheap out on you. They're going to give you about four pieces of broccoli. They will give you half a piece of chicken, a bunch of gravy, and rice. Yes, they will give you rice. Lots of rice. But they won't even give you the good rice. This is jasmine rice from Thailand. It is so good. It is very good. And last but not least, yes, we have an onion. Yes, we must have an onion. So I'm going to cut these up, throw them in the wok. Let me show you that. Isn't that wonderful? You can use a disco, but this is a cast iron wok from Lodge Manufacturing. I would suggest buying one. Very, very useful. Cook everything in it. I mean everything. Last but not least, what you're going to need is soy sauce. I bought some fancy soy sauce with a fancy name and we're going to use that today with a little water and cornstarch mix to thicken up the broth so we have a little bit of gravy for my rice. Yes, buy a rice cooker. Don't screw around. I mean, you can do all this in a pot, but um, here's the deal with this rice. You need to put in three cups of rice, four cups of water. It's not two to one or any of that. It's like one to one. Or maybe a little bit more. You got to kind of experiment with it. But I bought it in 25 pound bags. So I got time. So let's get this done. Make your ginger look like a coffin. See that? That's very important. Looks like a coffin. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just slice it, slice it up thin. Let's take care of this garlic. You know, normally the only thing I squish is roaches like that. But, that's what I do to garlic too. Sometimes, depends. I just want this spread out all over in the meal. Alright, that's peeled. Oh, we're going to go for the fancy cut today. That's probably enough onion right there. But I'm going to use two pieces of meat and I want this to last more than just one meal. So there you go. Doing the whole onion. Okay, I grabbed two of these smaller pieces of chicken. Just because that's how I'm rolling today, I'm going to remove the skin. In the past, I would leave the skin because fat is flavor. But since I'm really not supposed to eat the fat anymore, I'm just supposed to eat chicken breasts. <coughs> I have to do what I can do. You know, I need to be a vil, vil what do you call it? Vigilant. 
Like that. No, I have not been drinking today, though I would have liked to. Anyway, this is a thigh, folks. Very easy. You just kind of go around the bone and debone it. And then I got a big chunk of meat like this, right? You got little fat pieces here. And then some of these, like this gristle, a lot of people like to take that, eat that. I like it. I like crunchy. I hate hate to say it. Okay, but anyway, the last piece of meat here, what you're going to do, cut it off at an angle, cut it off at different, just make it interesting. Cut it so it's interesting. Okay? So you do this, and then what you're going to do is marinate it. You're going to hit it with uh, some soy sauce. Just different soy sauce, whatever you like, Kiko Man, whatever, the fake stuff at the store. A lot of choy or whatever, but I'm actually I'm trying to get rid of some fancy stuff I bought. That's good. It's just a little different, a little different flavor. It's just the way it is. Now that's good crab bait right there. I may put that in a Ziploc bag, take it to the beach. That's probably what I will do. I put it in my crab traps, then I catch crabs, then I do the same recipe, and I cook crabs, and I call it something else. Yeah, see a big piece of chip, chicken fat right there? That's all flavor. Or, my wife's going to make chicken soup. That's why you put this stuff in there to get your stock down. Because that, that's flavor. As you know. Well, if you've been watching this channel. Anyway, hit like and subscribe. Yeah, I'm just butchering this. No fancy, no fancy stuff around here, y'all. Alright, that's done. Let me get that uh, soy and show you what it is. Hey, let me let you in on a secret. You're going to make this stir fry. You want it Asian. Right there. The ginger is what's going to blow away all your Caucasian friends. Because they don't have a clue. Anyway, right here. Let's see. Where are we going? Here we go. This is it. Kiko Man. This stuff's pretty good. It's good. It's not just like the grocery store. Kiko Man. It's a little strong. I can use this right here, Three Dragons. Yeah, this stuff's real good too. It's got a lot of soy in it and some sugar and oil and other stuff. It's really good. And then we got this too, Brewed Soy Sauce. You know, this one's ready to, you know, scream kamikaze and land right in the middle of a freaking battleship. But anyway, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to add a little bit of this. There you go. Okay? I got this at the Asian Mart. You're not going to find this at your grocery store. I love the Asian Mart. It's freaking where you get your stuff. The good stuff. The flavor stuff. It's all about the sauce, people. You can barbecue with this stuff, too. You just rub it all over everything and, you know, call it a day and then throw it on there. Make some funny faces and cook it and serve it, and people go, Oh my god, what'd you do? You're such a great cook. Oh, no, no. Oh my god, can I come live here? Uh, can I be your neighbor? Uh, uh, you're so wonderful. Uh, uh, oh, so wonderful. You're the man. They only say these things because they're getting free barbecue and they're hanging out drinking your beer. But that's okay. That is okay. All right. We're gonna let that stew a little bit. Uh, oh, that's so good. Almost, almost want to lick my finger. Oh no, can't lick my fingers now. Ooh. Uh oh, got a problem. Something poked hey, me. Hey guys. Now. No, I did not cut my finger off. I got a paper cut, and it's very annoying. So anyway, I did the quick fix. <laughs> but we. You see that? Yeah. Big fat finger. Doing some seasoning. Put it on heavy, folks. Because the more you put on, the more you got to go in at 350 oven for about an hour and 15 minutes. And they should be finished. Nice crispy skin. You can cook it faster if you want. I'd go up to maybe 400 at most. Okay, cornstarch. I believe they used to use this instead of baby powder back in the day. I'm not even that old. But it makes sense. I'm 
looks nice and fluffy and all that stuff. If you're making any, if you're making any kind of gravy, this is a ticket. Okay, that's it. Okay, preheat your wok. Like I said, I would be doing this outside, but it's very cold out there, and I'm being lazy, and I wanted to just stink up the house, right? So, if you care about the oil, I'm using roasted garlic avocado oil. And I'm on full blast heat here. Ah, yeah. Okay, first thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of that garlic and some of that ginger. I want that into the flavor of that avocado oil. meat is almost done. Definitely the outside is done. You can kind of feel it. It feels a little rubbery. So, seeing that that's the way it is, I'm going to set these to the side. I don't want to overcook those, but the stems need to do go just a little bit longer than the flowerette or whatever you call it. Soy sauce action. And I am going to go ahead and add a little stir fry sauce. Just a blast. Okay, we're going to throw these in. I'm going to beat the board. Put all the little bank leaves off there. And mix this around. Here it comes. It's done. Or basically done. that around take a few Instagram pictures I'm on Instagram the hog zone check that out okay guys it's been about one minute <laughs> for that edit action this is basically done um, it's almost there I'm just giving it a couple of stirs because here's the thing you can serve it right now these are gonna be very very crunchy which some people like, which is how I like it. But I'm actually gonna put this in a container and take it to work. So when I put it in the microwave, I need it extra crunchy because the microwave is gonna do a number on it. But you can see I'm starting to boil. So I'm just gonna push these down, let them go for about a minute and then turn it off and let it sit for a couple of minutes and then put it in a bowl and set it to the side. One last thing, MSG baby. Now. See the MSG right here? Yeah. MSG. Now, I don't always do this, but I've started to do it. Because, you know, cardio diet. And it really does make a difference in the flavor. That's it. This is finished. I am turning it off, as you can see. I'm going to let it just sit there. For a second, I will be making a small bowl for pictures and to eat for lunch. But the rest is going to work for dinner. Okay, I'm at 350. El chicken. Thighs. The chicken. Thighs are going to. 350. Time. 115. Start. See there? Yeah, they'll be done in an hour, easy. Uh, but I'm giving that extra 15 minutes so that uh, that skin will get a little bit more crispy. And we'll see. I might have to adjust it by five, 10 minutes here and there. We will have to see. All right, let's get the uh, stir fry into a bowl so it stops cooking. Are you seeing that? I know the bowl, the presentation ain't all there, you know. Not like all these people that YouTube wants. Sorry, but that's why you gotta like and subscribe because you won't get the real deal. You'll get carbon copy of everything off the TV, which is what they want. I don't know about you, but I really don't like the TV shows. I don't like that style. I find it annoying. You know, big fake kitchen and everything. All it is is a big giant inf infomercial, which is what this is, sort of. 
know. I mean, if you want some good spices, go to my site. If you don't, fine, that's fine too. I don't care. <laughs> that's the beauty of it. But anyway, hit like, subscribe, share the videos. That will help because I'm shadow banned here and there. That's what, you know, YouTube, Google's doing now. Because they're setting up control. And there's just nothing you can do, really, to fight it. You go get a fancy plate like this. For like four bucks. Asian more. Yeah. You got your rice cooked right here. Can you see that? See that? You go get an ice cream scoop. Yeah. This one happens to be broken. It's a two-handed operation. But that's okay. Shake off the extra water. And you know what you need? You need a towel. So you don't burn the hell out of your hands. Because I know that you guys like watching me burn myself. Yes, you do. Okay. You get a scoop of ice cream like that. Now this is very important. Oh, the present. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that rice ball. Oh. oh, it's amazing. Totally amazing. What? Now you have to put all the vegetables and the dish in so that you get a nice representation of all the meat and fancy vegetables you cut up. So everybody can see it. You know, I had mushrooms. I should have thrown mushrooms in this. Wow, I can't believe I didn't do that. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Okay, this is TV 101. I didn't cook these, right? But, you know, I like mushrooms. I eat them raw all the time. So, but it'll make my dish look so much better. It's like on TV, you know, the milk is actually uh, Elmer's glue, but, you know, we won't say anything about that. So, here's what's very important. Coat it in gravy. Set it off to the side. Now the big boy, he needs cut in half. Okay, you see that? Right? Now one thing, there's one thing that's kind of important. Probably need to drizzle like just a little bit there, you know. That's oh, so fantastic. Now this is my lunch, so I am going to eat this. But, you know, I could serve that at a restaurant. That's respectable. Of course, I'd give you more and put it out on a flat plate so you can see it better. But I'm going to be sitting my fat butt in my easy chair, watching TV, you know. Of course, I'm only going to be watching one channel, Deep Fried King or The Hog Zone. Probably not The Hog Zone, but, you know, you got to watch Deep Fried King. So. Anyway, guys, that's how you cook, cook chicken, broccoli, and a stir-fry. Lodge Manufacturing Cast Iron Swak. Can't go bad with that. Can't go bad at all. So anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Check me out on Instagram. as the Hog Zone on Instagram. Hit like over there because you miss a lot of pictures over there, you know. Stupid stuff and, you know, normal crap. And I don't even know why I post all that stuff. But anyway, hit like and subscribe on this video too. And comment if you want because my views are zip. El Zippo, and I don't know why. It's done. Hour and, I don't know, 20 minutes, I guess. I added a few extra minutes on the back end. Skin kind of pulled up. It's all good to go. Yummy, 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 yummy. Anyway, appreciate you watching.